Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how to clear a clog out of your multicolored CFS from Creality, the new color box. So every now and again you might get a clog in it. So we're just going to go through and get one out because I've got one in it. <laughs> I think it was just a, a kink in the, in the um, filament and it's just got caught in one of the Bowden tubes. So I'm just going to go through how to get that out. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, it does help the channel out greatly. And at the end of it, if you've liked the video, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Uh, we'd, I do have some affiliate links down in the description if you want to buy something from Creality or some filament from Sunly. I do have the things in there. And if you feel like buying me a coffee, that would be <laughs> nice as well. But there's also a link down there if you want to buy me a coffee. Okay, guys, let's get into it. Okay, so what's happened is I've had some filament get caught in here. And when I've gone to pull it out, it's got, got jammed, I pulled it too hard and it snapped off so I can't actually get the filament. So what I've got to do is take this little part out here. So basically I've got to remove all the filament out, uh, so it's just not in the way, you don't want it in the way. And when you take it out guys, make sure you put it back through the holes so it's not going to get tangled. I can put that back in, but no, I can't. Okay, the, oh yeah, there you go. All right, so what I need to do is turn it over. So we've got the bottom, you can see I've already tried to see if it was getting caught anywhere and it wasn't, because that is the Bowden tube there. So it's caught inside here. If it was outside here, I'd be able to pull it this way, but I can't do that at the moment. So all you gotta do is undo these three screws. These are two black ones at the back, you don't need to undo, yeah? This one. There we go. Okay. So you've got two length of screws, guys. Just remember that when you take them out. Okay, the tiny screw goes over on the side here. So it just lifts out. And that way you can pull that Bowden tube out of the little... They've got a little sort of ledge or something underneath there, just there and the Bowden tube just sit underneath that little ledge so you can just pull them out. And then when you get this out, you just have to push, it's just like a normal Bowden tube, just gotta push this little, these little, uh, these little bits here in. As you can see on the thing, it's got a little, little round tube and you just push it in and they just pull out like so, okay? And we can leave all that there like that. So once this is out, We've got to undo these four screws and that'll let me pull it out the other way. And these, these are attached to it, so you, that's why you have to undo these. I this is going to be the same length screw. Yeah. So I just turn it up the other way. Okay. So I spin it around so you can see. So inside there, you just grab the little unit here and the whole thing should just pull out. So and all those leads will come out with it. Yeah. And just pull back the rubber bit. Just pull it straight out. Right? Yep, cool. Okay, so it's just a little plug in there, guys. You just need to pull out. Cool. Okay, so what I need to do is get into there. So there's two screws on top here. So there's a screw here and a screw here. There's two just going to take them off. And there's one on that side and one on this side. Okay. Hmm, a bit of gunk in there. What's that? What's that from? Oh, it's a bit of grease. Now, it's this one here I want to get hold of. Now, what the, the only thing is that. To get the Bowden tube out, I've got to undo that just to get it that. I would have preferred to be able to get at it from the top side there. So let's pull the cable out anyway. Same thing, just got to push those little levers in. It's not stuck in the tube. If you have a look in here, um, I don't want to show you down here actually. If you have a look in here, you'll see that there's a little cog in there. I reckon that turns what's inside this mechanism here. Let's see if I can turn that and get it out. Ah, there it comes. Yeah, so I'm turning that little that little cog under there, just at the side of the motor here. There's a cog just in there. 
get your finger in, so it's underneath this bar. Get your finger in and you can turn it and you can see it's already started to come out the top here. I'll just get going. Oh, I shouldn't have stopped. Okay, let's get a pair of pliers. Try and get it out this way now. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, it's got a little, it had a break in it. See how it's got a little lump and stuff there? So that was, um, I'm not sure why it didn't, it's got a bend in it, so yeah, it must have been where it was bent. I can see it, feel the bend in it. Right at the very top, it bends over. So that's, um, that's a training lesson for me too. Okay, so that's the inside of it basically. You've got, better put them back in. Okay, so you've got a motor on each one. And it runs some runs a whole bundle of cogs up the top here that either, when it's up it engages and it spins the top here. And together when it's down it doesn't engage and it's not spinning anything there. And therefore the bottom one can spin which is inside here. So that engages the top pulley mechanism. That's a little switch. I don't know if you can see the little switch I'm pushing there. Okay, so these things here are meant to be the release, so you can release the filament. These bits up the top here. And that's all it is basically. Motor, a few cogs, and this little mechanism that pulls up and down that engages these wheels or engages the motor to push the filament through. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so put it back together. Not that hard. Just reverse what I just did in a couple of screws. So I'll put this back on. So I'll thread them through there. Uh, no, I'll take a look at that. Uh, oh no, it'll go that way. Okay. So you chuck them in that way and then just push them around and they'll line up. And you can just push it on like that. And then there's the two screws here and the ones at either end. Now these screw straight into the plastic guys, so do not over tighten them or you'll just strip it out. It's only there just to hold the, the plastic cover in, so don't, when it goes tight, just stop. Or you'll just strip those, um, those screw holes out, and it won't be good. That's it. Two little ones at the side. Okay, so the cable, once again, has got a little nodule on the top there. You can see it, I'll just bring it in, so you can have a look. See how the cable's got that little knob on top there? Okay, so that corresponds with the little notch that's got on the top there, so just gotta line them up. Chuck it in, easy, easy. Okay, that's in, and then put the little rubber stopper back where it came from. That's all in. Okay, so when it goes down, you just gotta thread that a little tubes through the little holes that are provided down there. So it's not... There's a little oval shaped holes that the screw that the tubes go into. Let's just go back. Okay so that's in. So I need to tip it on the side and put the four screws that I took out of the bottom back in. these four screws back in. Okay so when you um, putting it back in just be care be aware that the ribbon cable that we put in um, if it doesn't go into this there's a square little opening down the bottom right underneath where the ribbon cable comes out of it needs to go back into that that area or um, it's gonna not sit properly so and this bit this bit here is where it's also got where all the four, four come in it controls um, you know, getting the one out with this motor so it's um, not a lot to them but you know, a bit of um, designing and engineering that's gone into it just doing them up once again don't do them up too tight just till they it sort of get tight and then just a little quarter of a turn now when it comes to this, I just need to line up the, um, the tubes, plug them in, then do that back up and then, then it's all done. So it's not difficult. 
it's just fiddly, it's a little bit fiddly, it's not overly fiddly, but you know, just a few screws to undo, and just remember them which way the screws came out. So they just push back in, and they're all, just make sure they're all in place. Don't forget, they only come out if you push that, push that little bit in. Push the cables back in the little hole here, little hole there, make sure the cables and plugs go back in there so it sits properly. there and just push it all in and these can clip just use your a fat allen key not a thin one just to push it in if you've got little fingers that might do as well So you can see the little the little notches that it just sits under. And then just put those three screws back in and you're done. Okay, so the short one goes over at the top there. So remember the two long ones here and the short one up there. Okay, so every now and again you're gonna get this sort of problem happening, I guess, with filament coming in and out. Um, same things happens on the other. Um, filament changing things that I might have from somewhere else. <laughs> um, they get clogged every now and again. You know, filament's not always 100% straight and the Bowden tube doesn't give you a lot of, lot of room for um, errors and stuff. So let's plug it all back in. So basically what I'm doing is pull on, putting all the plugs in the back the way um, that you would have had it before. This is the the plug from the buffer, the plug from the printer, and then the Bowden tube that goes in the back. And what I'm going to do is going to put all the filament rolls in. Oh, there's one thing I forgot. This little guy can go back in here. And basically while it's running these across here, it, the red light means there's something not right. And the not right is I don't have filament in it. Let's put them back in. These have got... Um, Pulls in. Black was in number two. Now the bits that I pushed in the, in the sides here to keep it round, I'm going to have to cut them off because they will actually have little bends in them. And I'll put this in. Now it should go freely like that, yeah? It shouldn't be stuck. And if it's getting stuck, Okay, so that's the one that's caught and that's all working fine. So if it's... Okay. So when it's doing that, what it's doing is pushing it through the CFS and through all the way through the buffer. It doesn't go all the way into the printer, but it goes through the buffer and comes just out the other side and says, yeah, everything's clear and then pulls it back. So it's just checking that, that everything's clear for each row of filament. Okay, so if it doesn't run freely, I'll show you why, guys. So if you have, I'll bring you up. So if you have a look in here, you see how they've got these grooves in here? These little grooves? Your filament sits on that. And if, there, if there's a, a bend in your plastic or a bend in your cardboard, it gets caught in that and it doesn't run freely. So you've got to be careful about looking at that sort of stuff, yeah? So just be aware. Get my red in. Just run it nice and free, cool. Put that in. And blue, which is Cardboard, oh, I think it ran the other way, it doesn't matter. We'll see. Put the blue in and the blue. Yeah, it sort of runs, but not as freely as the others because the cardboard is slightly bent on the edges. We'll just see if it works. There we go. If you have a look on the, um, the printer thing here, you can see it's picked up all my filaments because I've got um, little chips in the in the in the filament spools and you'll see them by 
we've got these little here, that little creality sign. That's the chip inside there. Okay. Now let's um what I'll do is I'll come down here and I'll make sure it can purge out some filament. So I will pick, I had a problem with the black. So what I'll do, so I'll come in here and I'll select the black. Like so. Okay, so I'm going to go black and I'm going to go extrude. I'm going to make sure it can extrude some filament out. Just have a look out here. Open the door. Oops. And here we go. What you can I'll pull it up a bit so you can see maybe both of them happening. Yeah, look, it's just purging out filaments, red filament at the moment that's purging out, and that'll turn into black because I had red in before, so it'll turn into black soon enough. And there it goes, black and all cleared. So the black is working now. Okay, guys, so that's how you clear a jam out of your CFS. So that could be anywhere in the service. So pretty much pull the whole thing apart. Um, so anywhere in there, you can you can pull out um, a filament jam. So and just remember, wherever there is one of these little levers here, that's what's sort of holding the filament in place. So you need to push that in to move the filament out of that area. And if it goes all the way through and out the back, you have to push the back one in as well. Don't want any two people. But if you pull the filament out, you can you can grab the filament, pull that and pull that this way, and then come out here and pull it that way, if that makes sense. So if you try to pull it from here with just this one and it's being held at the back, you need to release the back first before you can pull it through this one. Okay, guys, so I hope that helped. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you thought this was of any value, give us a thumbs up. And I will see you on the next video. Okay, guys, see you later. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate the support. You might like one of these, or one of these <laughs> videos um, that I've made in the past, so feel free. <laughs> okay, thanks guys, bye.